All right, so this is going to be a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well rising, a weekly low tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. And uh, if you do guys want to get in touch with me for a, a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find uh, my website and as well in that same description, you will find the link for your career tarot reading for that very same week. And with that being said, uh, let's jump into the spread itself. So the first card, which represents the very topic of your relationship life uh, here throughout this week, that is going to be the Eight of Cups, followed by the second one, which stands as the energy supporting the topic, that is going to be the Five of Wands. Uh, afterwards, Taurus, we do have the challenges that uh, you will need to overcome throughout the week. This is going to be the Eight of Swords, and that is a typical situation, you know, nothing out of the ordinary that people were facing on a daily basis in regards to relationships and interactions, really. Uh, the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings, and that kind of saves the day. Now, we do have the Sun card, followed by the next one, which is uh, the uh, how other people see you how your partner sees you, you know, how your person of interest sees you, how your friends and family sees you here. That is going to be the Four of Pentacles, followed by the next one here, which represents what you can do in order to help your long-term goal in regards to relationship. We do have the uh, Hermit card, followed by the next one of what you should not do in regards to your long-term goals or what can hurt your long-term goals. That is going to be the Magician. And afterwards, we do have the very last one here, which stands for uh, the guidance in regards to uh, your relationship life throughout the week. That is going to be the Tree of Cups. All right. So um, the very first two cards are really talking for themselves. Now, we do have the topic of Eight of Cups and the uh, Five of Wands as a uh, energy supporting the topic. So those two cards here are, are representing that in the interactions in either in between you and your partner or in between you and your person of interest, there is some significant, um, I would say, misunderstanding that comes from the third card, but we're going to get there in a minute. OK, so it's like you are getting each other wrong. OK, all right. Well, for whatever reason and for whatever you need. I, I, it's like making the problems bigger than the pro than the problems actually are. If there are any problems, if there aren't any problems, it seems that you both are creating problems out of nowhere. Now those, especially the Eight of Cups here points that the, um, the whole environment right now that you're finding yourself in relationship, it's rather poisonous and it does require a fresh wind, a fresh wind to blow away, you know, the uh, noxious air, if you will. So the very question is where this fresh wind comes from? Well, it's kind of like it, re it requires quite a bit of big efforts here. And that is the effort of just burying down the hatchets of war. It's like forgetting what you are arguing about. It's just leave it aside and move on from it. Okay. It's just stop arguing. That's the whole point of the card because a much better perspective for you too is coming around. And it only requires, you know, all the fightings and the, the disagreements to be just left aside, not sorted out, not settled out to be left aside. Now, the other card here, which is the energy, and it, this is actually a very good energy pointing to big dynamic. Um, that's, uh, you know, one day things are going to be bad. The other day uh, you will kind of like make up for each other and so on and so forth. So you can take it as a, ro a roller coaster. Uh, the, the week is going to be very dappled with ups and downs. And there are to be very sudden turnarounds um, in regards to any kind of a situation. So that is a very, very good week where if the relationship it is just on the edge of breaking to be miraculously saved. Right. It's just what it is required here is to left aside the, uh, the disagreements, the things that you are arguing over. Right. And that needs to be done by both of you, not just by you. Uh, well, it can be done just by you, but then we're not talking about leaving aside. We're talking about submission, really. 
So the other card, it is about the challenges that you need to overcome, and that is the Eight of Swords. And we are the Eight of Swords points to disruption in the communication, to the lack of understanding, to the lack of seeing, you know, what the other person means with what they are saying. And uh, the Eight of Swords refers to being open-minded, uh, in a sense of this is going to be challenging for you and for the relationship itself here, that yeah, you may not be agreed with what your partner is saying or what your person of interest is saying, but that doesn't mean that they're wrong, right? So you need to be able to see the things from their eyes and, and, and vice versa. And how this can be done uh, is to be more explanatory, more elaborative when you want to say something, okay? That is the way how you overcome the, the disruption in the wall in generally that uh, you both are facing by trying to get in the same page with one another. The Eight of Swords represents self-imposed limitations and obstructions based on, you know, things you want to say. And those limitations and obstructions need to be brought down. Now, that leads us to the next card here, which represents the gifts and the blessings. And that is the blessing of the sun. And uh, this saves the day because um, the sun points that the gift you are going to enjoy are expanding energies of growth in regards to relationship. Not only that, but as well burying down the hatchets, the tomahawks of war. Okay, so, but that happens not through um, agreement, but through a leaving aside you know, the, the, the core of the issue on the first place. Why? Because it's meaningless. What does it matter where you're going to go to vacation, you know, or what does it matter uh, what, in which house you are going to live? Uh, or, or what does it matter if you are not going on a romantic dinner on a restaurant, but you are sitting on a romantic dinner at home, you know, for these kind of trifles I'm talking about, that are so many uh, are, uh, are polluting the relationship with uh, really noxious uh, air. Additionally to that, the Sun card uh, gives you the blessing of natural unfoldment here of the relationship itself. So again, only if you do have the strength to just stop raising a questions that you know the answer is not going to be a something you're going to like. So how other people see you, how your partner sees you, how your person of interest sees you, that is to be the four of pentacles. And they see you as a very protective person of the relationship, that although the relationship may not be in its firm state right now, you are determined to uh, ensure to ensure its secure future, okay? And that, it kind of, people see you as a reliable, as a, someone who it's, it's willing to go as far as, uh, as one needs in order to, um, you know, give future to a future relationship or, to, or to, to give potential to a future relationship or to sustain a current relationship. So the other card here represents what you should do uh, in a long term, in a long run. What can help your long term goal regarding relationship, which for the most people is creating family or sprawling upon one's family, and that is the Hermit card. And this is a, a very broad card. Uh, the card urges you to focus on what is substantial. For your relationship life, not for you at the moment, but you for your relationship life. Giving you an example, if the person is that you are with right now, it is substantial for you. Then once again, why do you arguing over trifles? Okay, it's just focus on the substantiality rather than on the minor and irritating irrelevant, I would say, uh, details. Another thing it is that you need to approach the situation with a huge portion of intelligence and wisdom so you can recognize um, the longevity of the situation itself, okay? Or, the, or to recognize where the longevity is. Because this could be where you are trying to decide in between two people whom to be with, and you gotta go for the one that can present you with a more, uh, with more kind of like calm, steady, and cautious, and um, calm, steady, and uh, and um, uh, solid 
and a uh, long-term relationship than the other who can uh, give you more passion, you know, and more variety and so on, but yet, you know, uh, more risky kind of a, a relationship. So the other card here points to what can hurt your long-term goals in regards to relationship and what's, um, you know, in generally what you should not do. We do have the magician and that is uh, clinging uh, way too much on your sovereignty on and on your points, okay? It's like being unyielding in regards to what you want and in regards to how you want it, which is exactly what we talked about at the very start of the reading, you know. Uh, but the way I see it here, it is like a resignation that you both need to resign of what what the situation is right now and just look toward the future rather than everybody. It's kind of like, a, you know, uh, pulling the weights on its own uh, plate or pulling the things toward himself and not allowing the other person to, to breathe in generally. It, to me, it looks like that this week is gonna be a week where the, uh, where the battle for domination needs to end. And uh, the very reason for why that battle is on, it needs to be set aside. And uh, the very last card that we do have, it is the guidance the tarot is offering, and that is the Tree of Cups. So, um, you and your partner or person of interest needs to start talking about how you both are seeing each other in the future, okay? And uh, for many of you, this card may um, advise you to propose kind of engagement, you know, or propose marriage and those kind of stuff. But uh, the Tree of Cups uh, speaks for a shared vision, shared vision over the future rather than over the details which we are talked about right now and that's why you need to start talking with your either your person of interest your husband or a wife your partner in general how you envision both in the future okay and uh, that's uh, and through doing so it is very likely guys that uh, you will be on the same page you will get on the same page with uh, that person so that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly love tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And if you want to get in touch with me, you can check the description down below where you're going to find my website and as well a link to, a link to your career tarot reading for that very same week. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.